For setup two, we're going to machine these three holes for the mounting face because we still have this angled soft jaws in. So in the last one, we machined the first part to machine this face and the back face to create the pocket. Now, while we still have these in, we're going to machine these. And the, part of the reason for that is because if we look at our, our vise, we have the 20 degree angle. This now makes it easy to come in and machine those while, that, while those soft jaws are still in there. So for our example here, we have the first setup done. Now we're just gonna drop this in, change the orientation. We're just gonna make these three holes. So what I've done is I've created a configuration in the assembly, dropped in a new part so that way I can orient it in the correct location. So I have just this to machine. Inside of Solder's Cam, I created a secondary uh, configuration as well that shows this setup. I called it setup two. So I'll go through quick, add things that we've added before. Now in this instance I created a brand new one versus copying uh, as I've already mentioned. If I copied existing it would make this uh, a little bit quicker versus resetting. We'll go to our part manager. We're going to machine this. For our coordinate system we're going to move it to this location here. Again just like before for our stock what we're going to do is we're going to use um, we we'll use a sketch, so we'll grab this sketch. We'll go to four inches because that was our original height here, just so we have a reference to machine from. And then we're gonna create a mill part setup. So for our mill part setup this time, I'm gonna click the top face. As long as the arrow goes down, that gives me my correct Z direction. And we're going to machine a pocket. And we'll actually, we'll machine all of these. Our end condition will be up to those. And for these, I'm just going to do a rough of zero because we'll just make them real quick. Um, they're all for clearance. They're not for a specific fit. So we'll generate the operation plan. You can see I have a 3 8 and a 3 8 uh, if you remember right, this hole is a 3 8 diameter. Um, so I may want to make those a little bit bigger than 3 8 So we'll come back over here. For this, we'll make this uh, 406 clearance hole. Let it generate. So now we have those two, we have these two. Everything's happy so far. What I do need to do is come in and we'll set this for these operations. We'll go to tool. We'll do zero allowance for our roughing. Uh, 316 will be fine for that. We'll come in here. We'll set these the same way. So we'll do zero offset so it makes it a 406 hole. Go to tool. We'll look at our setup here quick and make sure that we have a G54 for our work offset because if you remember right, we're calling up 54 here based on our process planning. So we'll select OK. And let's take just a quick look at this. So we'll come in, machine that. And everything looks good. So that covers our second setup there. And now we'll be ready for the last part, which is finishing the outside profile here for mounting, putting some holes in on the side, and then cutting out that last back pocket that we had here.